Now we've been able to reconnect with Dr. Kevin Kwashak, uh, Chairman, National Association of Resident Doctors, uh, Joss University Teaching Hospital Branch, uh, to speak to us on the 20, that's the freed 20 medical students that were kidnapped earlier. Hello, Doctor. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you hear me, Dr. Kwashak? All right, so, yeah, I can hear you now. Thank you for joining us. So can you uh, tell us more about the uh, freed kidnapped students? Uh, uh, that's the medical students that were kidnapped in uh, from Brno and also just Plateau State. Okay, thank you. Um, good afternoon. Good afternoon to our listeners. Um, thank you for having me. Um, well, I think uh, the uh, it's no longer news about the release of the 2019 medical students plus a doctor that was uh, keep, that they were keeping up on their way to uh, Inugu from from JOS for a conference of Federation of Catholic Medical um, Students, you know, that took place some weeks ago. Um, it was actually quite a very difficult moment for everyone, particularly for us who. Um, uh, know them in person and they actually from our center, you know, uh, it was quite a very devastating moment for, for everybody. But um, I'm grateful to God and grateful to everyone who was involved in the process that eventually led to their release. And um, today, as I speak to you, we all have them back to us. Um, they are all doing uh, well and they are trying, we're trying so much to rehabilitate them and have them back into the, into the society. Like you rightly said, the combination of uh, both students from Meduguri and from University of Just. So we have um, uh, 11 medical students from Uni Just, uh, one uh, doctor from Just University Teaching Hospital, and then the remaining eight medical students were from University of uh, Meduguri. You know, but uh, oh, like okay. I said, all of them were rescued. All right, that's uh, that's good news, uh, Doctor Kwashak. But you know. Uh... One other doctor, Dr. Popola, was kidnapped months ago, and she's still in the custody of these kidnappers. Can you go ahead and tell us why you think doctors are usually victims of these kidnappers? Do you have any thoughts on this? Um, well, for Dr. Ganiel Popola, you are aware that we've been on one week warning strike that started uh, last week Monday, and we just suspended the strike this morning. Um, Popola has been in captivity for the past eight months plus, as I speak to you currently. Um, when we, um, the strike was meant to push for two, for two reasons, you know, to push for the release of Ganyat and then for the release of the medical students. Fortunately, uh, two days before the commencement of the strike, the medical students were released, but Ganyat still remained in captivity. And we decided to still go ahead with the strike because uh, for us, the principle is all or none. It's either we have all of them back or we still continue with the industrial um, action. And I, as I, I think uh, I don't want to go into details of that now because of the security um, reasons, for some security reasons. The sensitivity of the issue is not one that would warrant us speaking so much about it in the public space at the moment. But what I can tell you is that um, from the reports we got the last one week during this uh, warning strike, we've made significant progress. We've made much progress in terms of um, getting her out of captivity. The government is on top of the issue uh, based on the report we got. Uh, they got the message clearly from us and um, they've assured us that the same methods they've used to rescue the medical students, they are ready to also deploy those machineries to ensure that Ganyat is back. You know, but it's quite unfortunate uh, that uh, a medical doctor has been going through this on all hardship for the past eight months. It's quite unheard of. I, 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 in this 21st century, with all the securities we have in this country, I think we shouldn't be talking about things like this. But like I said, the securities are doing their best. And um, I won't go into details of what effort they've made and what they're about, uh, okay. about to do, but just know that the strike has yielded results. All right. The one-week warning strike yield significant results. Yes. All right. Well, uh, we hope and pray that you know she's rescued unharmed. Thank you so much, Dr. Kwashak, for speaking to us.